Nutrition 5th Edition, Chapter 8 Metabolism, Part 2. These next slides just kind of wrap up some information that was in Chapter 2. I'm just going to kind of um, briefly go through a few of them as these have all been in the chapter previously. So the ADP, ATP cycle basically shows when extracting energy from nutrients, the formation of ATP from the ADP plus P captures energy. Glycolysis can go ARI. What this means is red blood cells do not have the mit do not have mitochondria, so they rely on glycolysis as their only source of ATP. They use this ATP to maintain the integrity and shape of their cell membranes. A defect in red blood cell glycolysis can cause a shortage of ATP, which leads to deformed red blood cells. And destroying these cells by the spleen leads to a type of anemia called hemolytic anemia. The electronic transport chain. This pathway produces most of the ATP available from glucose. The NADH molecules deliver pairs of high energy electrons to the beginning of the chain. And these pair of high energy electrons carried by FADH2 enter the pathway further along and produce fewer ATP than electron pairs carried by NADH. Water is the final product of the electron transport chain. Carnitine. Without assistance, activated fatty acid cannot get inside the mitochondria where fatty acid oxidation and the citric acid cycle operate. This entry problem is solved by carnitine, a compound formed from the amino acid lysine. Carnitine has the unique task of ferrying activated fatty acids across the mitochondria membrane from the cytosol to the interior of the mitochondria. Deamination. A deamination reaction strips the amino group from an amino acid. Ketones. Organic compounds that contain a chemical group consisting of carbon-oxygen double bond is bound to two hydrocarbons. Pyruvate and fructose are two examples of ketones. Acetone and acetoacetate are both ketones in ketone bodies. While beta-hydroxybutyrate is not a ketone, it is a ketone body. Cholesterol. Your body can make cholesterol from acetyl-CoA by way of ketones. In fact, all 27 carbons in synthesized cholesterol, cholesterol come from acetyl-CoA. The rate of cholesterol formation is highly responsive to cholesterol levels in cells. If levels are low, the liver makes more. If levels are high, synthesis decreases. That is why dietary cholesterol in the absence of dietary fat often has a little effect on blood cholesterol levels. Transamination, a transamination reaction, transfers the amino group from one amino acid to form a different amino acid and indispensable and dispensable amino acids. Proteins are made from combinations of indispensable and dispensable amino acids. The body synthesizes dispensable amino acids from pyruvate, other glycolytic intermediates, and compounds from the citric acid cycle. To form amino acids, transamination reaction transfer amino groups to carbon skeletons. This is the conclusion of Chapter 8, Metabolism, for Nutrition 5th Edition.